Hello and welcome to Geekit Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll look inside the church and how we can create this scenery. And mostly we'll look on the techniques, how to create a lake, work with a crater, uh, properties, look on the modifications. We also will look how to take high uh, field map from the world machine and import inside the Terrigen, how to use some splat maps to apply it on materials. We'll work with the uh, uh, populations of the plants, distributed population specific areas. We'll also will work with a rock layer, fake rock layer, and with multiple materials as well. Work on some shaders, water shaders, and work a little bit on the sky. Um, and the last part, we also work inside the Photoshop. I'll show you a few techniques how you can just enhance a little bit more this image to bring this some photo type um, or illustration effect again this is just the last portion if you're interested to do this you can watch or you can skip your last part for the post work with the image so let's go ahead and start working on th this project okay so before we start working on the project i actually want to look on properties of the crater the displacement shader and so we understand a little bit better how it's work right now we have it just open flat terrain we'll go inside add terrain select displacement shader and go work with a crater you'll notice right here we're instantly creating one crater the look with it and our terrain so let's look closer on the properties before we do this actually one thing i want to mention right here you can see we have a compute terrain and we play this placed our crater shader just before compute terrain so as a properties where we have the position center xyz so we can realign and reposition the way we want it next we have a diameter and of course we can change from the bigger or smaller size currently it says to um, diameter one kilometer we have a depth which is was going from the surface level down currently it's 100 and you can see we go 100 down we can switch this to the 200 and uh, it will become deeper you can also use this for different purposes it can be negative numbers and for example if we put it like minus 300 you can see it's creating almost hill or dome you can create whatever and you can create very high pillars apply this displacement and create a very unique type of the terrains with this so right now let's go ahead go back and we'll use that techniques and some other tutorials next we have the rim height and this is this um, level from impact what ground kind of move it's how high we can create it currently it says to the 10 we can go for example put it 60 and you can see how this raise relatively to all um, our terrain to preview this actually a bit better we can modify some um, skirts reducing a bit closer so you can see how tall this rim is and of course speak about the rim skirt it is distance from the size how far it will spread on outside so we can for example make maybe a little bit larger and you can see right here this is our level okay um also we have the rim softness that will apply kind of to this transition softness on the side as example we can bring quite a bit and you can see how it will smooth this area right here transitions okay and also we have it rim thoughtness will take these curves kind of and i don't know if you can preview at this moment it's have it curves inside a little bit and outside based with our course with our rim height and reduce skirt softness so it will take this and compress them in some cases okay right here you can see we have it increase rim tightness and it's bring them a little bit closer so let me go ahead switch rim to 30 okay. take up softness just bring a couple effects so we can preview again tightness right here you can see 
we bring to this point as well we have it kind of remove the smooth from our skirt if we we'll add more and it's reduced a little bit better explanation I did a small diagram kind of in a Photoshop so we can preview overall right here we have our diameter and again it's like cross section we have our depth which will be from surface down we have our rim height increase this level rim softness will affect our angle kind of make it nicer smaller transition we have the rim skirt which we can increase size this one and toughness right here kind of you have it parabolic but with the uh, increasing you create them a little bit more straight kind of other line so I hope this will help kind of understand what is going on here again and base it on the schematic will say if I want not very depth and very shallow for example I want to reuse this to create more as a lake look for me so what I'm going to do it's probably going to take increase softness take my rim height all the way down because I don't want any I want just smooth right here bring it a little bit closer so I have a nice drop but for the lake I want to create maybe kind of softer this area so to do this we'll leave a depth just let's bring this a little bit closer so rework and add more softness and just kind of rework and add few more to the leg so kind of you can see we're creating this softer edge a little bit reworking on this again this is very rough right now I'm just showing but how we can create this nice hole for the lake on the other properties right here you can notice we have the rim shader and this is what apply to the rim itself and again if I creating lake I want maybe place some rocks so if we're going to select um, displacement we'll go to select fake stones you'll notice in this area right here we'll start applying rocks okay let's go ahead and increase them so we can preview um, maybe pop up scale to pop up on a density and let's also in the shape maybe take one so in this case you can preview a little bit better right here on the skirt it's where we'll start creating rocks for us okay we can go back here and just rework so it's look smooth a little bit and you can see we applied rocks right in this area again we can just go inside the rocks maybe now pop up scale a little bit up so we can at least kind of see where the locating I know it's a little bit overdone but in this case you can see where's those rocks kind of position so they will go around and of course if we're creating the normal we'll probably just do this increase pancake to the two camera and right now we will have it nice rocks creating around our lake so this is just overall again overview of the crater and this has had much more functions how I said before you can always go and create increase up and apply displacement to this and create some very nice tall kind of formation of the rocks now uh, we continue working to create our actual lake and work on our terrain.